Alright, well, what's going on guys? It's your boys, it's you. Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video. Before we get started, I just want to say Hulk is going to be gone in three days, okay? We only have three more days of playtime with Hulk, so use him while you can. If you have him Prismatic, you already know, wait till, uh, what's it called? The three days to get that, uh, 60 CP. Even though Hulk is gone, our boy Dark Matter here didn't give up on the Adventure Tenny stuff, right? So he made an Adventure Tenny stuff without Hulk and is consistent with it right so i'm gonna show you guys some replays here of him using the adventure tenny stuff uh showing you guys that it's not really dead you can still do the award on turbo right so you can still go into your plays at the award on to lock light with the protos and stuff like it's a lot dark with the light chow feng uh get your level 10 and stuff like that right so i'm gonna showcase you guys those replays right now i'm gonna have his links in the description below definitely check him out he's trying to grow as a content creator as well so definitely give him some support he does upload a lot of videos as well but um yeah hopefully you guys do enjoy this video let me know in the comments below which deck is your guys favorite deck this season uh write it down in the comments i will be taking a look at everyone's response because personally my favorite deck is dragon links that deck is so cool right i you know i use despia yes but if i could use dragon links i would use dragon links. So that's my favorite deck let me know what you guys favorite deck is in the comments below and without further ado let's just hop straight into it all right so this duel like i said most of these duels we are going first and this hand is very good he is using the punk engine in there as well so you already know the you know it's very consistent the punk engine is really really good on release i i feel like not a lot of people understand how good it is like, like the ability to uh search your monsters and then special summon to go into another tuner is really really good i'll show you guys right here so he used the hold on wait wait till this goes through he used the um this the ashna and the uh ziamin to go into the level 10 and the ziamin allowed him to search for the ogre and i think he passed here because there's not much else he can do because of the shifter we don't want to play through shifter right so let's go here he's going to end his turn on one negate thankfully the opponent didn't really have anything crazy i think hopefully <laughs> okay so he's going to go activate long yuan we're going to negate that with the baron then he's gonna set 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 like i said these duels are also you know they're not really like i'm gonna showcase you him like attacking and winning and stuff like that like he's gonna win for sure we're playing through uh metal metal what is it metaphys yeah the this deck just banishes a bunch he's gonna banish our baron here need to cough <coughs> oh and the hiccup oh my god so he's gonna activate this to bring back this monster and then he's gonna send some cards it's not really a big deal we, we have the shtana in the hand so we're gonna special summon that out then we're gonna use the the itali to get out a another punk monster all right the ziamin we're gonna activate that to add another punk to the hand we're gonna activate on oh, no, the first we're gonna go into the power tool uh Pauto dragon really good right he plays let me see he plays two in the deck i'm pretty sure yeah, so he has another one in there and you guys will see why in a second here he's gonna activate that effect to show cards and he's gonna get to add one activates the living fossil adds back the shit the special summon back the shatana then he gets his special summon out a card that he adds to the end with the ogre there you go goes into the power tool dragon actually i don't even think he got the special summon out right i think he just normal summon that let's read ogre real quick you can make this card gain attack you to, to your opponents okay once we turn you can tribute one punk monster special summon this card from your hand okay now nah, he just added uh, he just added the card and then this normal summon it okay anyways regardless he's able to bring out two level sevens you guys already know once you get two level sevens on the field hold on there we go the get the tomahawk on the field really good right so perfect so now we just go to the regular place right so it we did take longer to get there obviously but it doesn't really matter because we're still able to get off our full combo now first he's gonna equip the draco back draco back sends a card to the hand now he goes into the Aurodon. Aurodon get the three tokens on the field one two three all right then he activates it gets the uh o lion on the field He's gonna end the opponent's gonna surrender in just a few seconds here so i'm gonna go through the plays with you so he gets the old line on the field right so then he uses this and this to go into the dang long which he is running with dang long 
all the way at the bottom here. Then he's going to activate this, the Denglong, which he should put here. Uh, or it really doesn't matter where you put the Denglong, but I, I'll put the Denglong here because we can't link summon anymore, right? So it doesn't matter. So you put the Denglong here, chain link one Denglong, chain link to the uh, Mecha Phantom Beast, get the token on the field again. Mecha, uh, then the Denglong will activate to send a level 7. So you probably send the uh, Ashina or if you're running the what's the other one called the Vishida that you send that then you use the token and then you use the what's it called the Denglong to go into a level 10 since we already used Baron I don't know if he's running two Barons here all right now so he's only using the one he only has one level 10 in the deck so unfortunately he wouldn't be able to go into a level 10 but he could go into a level 8 by sending something else off of the the dang log right but if that was the case he would uh, he would use this to go into the level 10 right then he brings out the level one she went then he used that to go into yazi you would use yazi to pop to bring out the taya taya uh, banish a card from the graveyard to get the token on the field then you go into baxia use baxia to bounce back some cards use baxia to pop one of the tokens to get back a level one then you'll have your uh your light lock here then you'll also be able to bring out the vishita with the with the ashina so you'll get your grandmaster on the field as well to bring protos to your hand you get chowfing protos at your level 10 and your level 8 on the field right so really 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 good still very consistent with the punk engine in there so i'm going to show you guys some more replays of him doing the combos to get to the Aurora on like I said, he doesn't get to do full combo because I'm pretty sure they surrender, but I'm going to showcase you guys it right here right now. All right, so this hand, pretty good, right? So we have the adventure stuff in the hand right here. We have the Enchantress. Enchantress is going to activate to add a uh, right to the hand. Activate the right to get the token, and then we also get the fateful adventure on the field. Really good, right? So we're going to activate the Itali, the Itali triggering the... Faithful Adventure and activate the Faithful Adventure to add the Griffin to the hand. Then we're going to use this as a tribute to bring it back to the field to equip to the Adventure token. Then we also have the Griffin that's going to be on the field. So now we can negate, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to. Because we can activate that. We're going to add. Oh, wait, maybe we do, right? Maybe we do. No, we'll summon that. No, we don't. No, we do not. We're going to go into. The power tool dragon. Like I said, guys, power tool dragon really good. So now we have two level sevens on the field, and now we can go into um, the tomahawk. Tomahawk is gonna be the main way to get into Aurora Dawn until they ban it. They probably will eventually, but I don't know how soon or when. But it is banned in the TCG, so they could ban it at any moment. But the people who run TCG, so I'm pretty sure he does surrender here. So, like I said, you're going to get the three tokens on the field. And then you tribute the O-Lion once you bring him out. And, well, the token and this to bring out the O-Lion. Then you go into the Dang Long with the O-Lion and the token. And then, you know, you do your regular plays there. So, the plays are still there, right? All you need is the two level sevens, which if you have... I believe you have a way to get into the Power Tool Dragon, which you will if you have the Punk. You get the Power Tool, and the power tool Dragon and then... You can get out another one with the punk engine i'm pretty sure but let's see what the next duel has really good uh combo showcase here from dark matter like i said check him out in the description below also subscribe to this video if you haven't already and hit that like button we're gonna take a look at the next one all right so this one goes up to two turns i hope we get to see the full uh, showcase here against the same player here invalid this is fine and I go against that I think this is this might be casual mode here because I was playing as well and I kept on getting against the same player so it is what it is so we're going to activate the see right here we can go into the um the power two dragon here right so and activate this adding in one of the punk monsters to the, to the hand but we had the adventure stuff in the hand so this is really good because now we have two level sevens two level sevens we're gonna activate this 
to uh, switch someone out of card. Oh, we're going to a level 10, then to level 7. Okay. Do you, king? Do you? Okay, that's also a level 7. So now <laughs> we just go into power to a dragon. Okay. Get that out on the field here. Activate the living fossil. Bringing back this here. We're going to go into a link. The blocker dragon. It turns out we're not even going to go into what we needed to. We're not even going to use the tomahawk. We're going to use the blocker dragon to go into our Aurorodon. What a goat. There we go. So Aurorodon activate three. One, two, three. Tribute that with a token. Get the O-Lion on the field. Go into Denglong here. So we're already in our level 10, right? So Denglong's going to activate chain link one. Uh, O-Lion is chain link two. Get the token on the field. And we send a card to the graveyard. No, we add one. Then we send a card to the graveyard. Perfect. Make that a level 4. Then we get to go into a level 7. Yazi. Gonna use this to pop. Use this to pop the Yazi. Yazi gonna activate to get the Taya out on the field. Activate the Taya. Banishing the Yazi. Get the token. We go into... Okay, we go into the Warlord Savage Dragon here. A little bit different than what we used to, obviously, but we are missing a lot of cards. The extra deck is a little bit tight, right? We need the extra deck the way it is. We can go into another level 8 here. And we can add that. No, well, we're not going to another level 8. I think that's just what it is. Okay, so this board, obviously, is not as good as um, what it could be with the Hulk and stuff, right? But I'm pretty sure if he was able to go into the uh tomahawk line then he would have had a better board because right now he's ending on three negates this is omni negate this is an omni negate and then this is also an omni negate, which is really good still don't get me wrong this is very 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 good but the normal board also has protos this probably can compete with the protos board to be honest with you. it doesn't really matter which way you decide to go very 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 good very consistent as you can see all you need is the punk engine to get it started and you are good so he has that we're gonna negate that we want him to get out his Edlich cards. Special summon one zombie monster from the hand or deck. Okay. That is fine. He's going to activate that. We're also going to negate that probably. Yes, 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 yes. Get rid of this. Perfect. Now we have one more Omni negate and that's it. We're going to negate that. We want to negate that. We don't want that to go through because the ability not... Because you can't target his, um, or they're unaffected by effects once that's in the hand. But he surrenders there. GG. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe. Like I said, let me know what you guys' opinions on this deck is. Uh, very, very good, right? Obviously, it's not going to be as good as the Hulk line. But it still gets the job done. It still does the boards that it needs to make and stuff like that so hopefully you guys do enjoy this video hit that like button comment share subscribe all the stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one peace